Ottavio Ty Massoni was the founder of the Italian fashion label Massoni and an Olympic hurdler who competed in the 1948 Summer Olympics. Along with his wife Rosita, he was part of the group of designers who launched Italian ready-to-wear in the 1950s, thereby ensuring the global success of Italian fashion. Ottavio Massoni was born in Dubrovnik, Croatia, on the Dalmatian coast. His mother, Teresa Davidovic di Capacesto e Rogoznica, was a Croatian countess while his father, Vittorio Massoni, was a Frialian sea captain who moved to Dalmatia while it was under Austrian rule. Through his mother he was a close cousin of Italian politician Renzo Davidovic. He was educated in Zadar, Trieste, and Milan. Massoni joined the Italian national track team in 1937 at age 16. He won the individual national championship four times. He also competed with the Italian team in the 1948 Summer Olympics. At the age of 88 he was still practicing sports such as shot put and javelin throw. Massoni served as an infantryman during World War II. In 1942, he fought in the Battle of El Alamein, where he was captured by the Desert Rats and served out the remainder of the war in an English prisoner of war camp. Rosita Yelmini and Ottavio Massoni in 1975 while in London for the Olympics, Massoni met the 16-year-old Rosita Yelmini, an English student from Golaseca, Italy. She was in the audience at Wembley at the time he was running in the finals. They married five years later on April 18, 1953. Their first son, Vittorio, was born on April 25, 1954. Luca, their second son, was born on July 4, 1956. Their only daughter, Angela was born in 1960. After the war, Ottavio and his teammate Giorgio Oberweger launched an activewear business in Trieste making wool tracksuits, which they called Venjulia suits. The tracksuits used details such as English ribbing and drop stitching, and featured zippered legs, a detail which Massoni has been credited with inventing. The success of the Venjulia suits, which took into account the need of athletes for functional, warm garments enabling freedom of movement, led to their being worn by the Italian Olympic team in 1948. In 1953, following his marriage to Rosita, the Miss Sana set up Maglificio Jolly, a machine knitwear workshop in Gallery. The Masoni's experimentations with machine knitting led to the discovery that clothing weight fabrics made using machines originally designed for shawls and bedspreads could be surprisingly lightweight. They supplied designs to the department stores Bicchi and later, La Rinocente in Milan, where in 1958, the first Masoni labeled garments, a line of colorful vertically striped shirt dresses, were displayed in the window. Ottavio's experience as an active wear designer and manufacturer was applied to his and Rosita's designs, which contributed significantly to the development of Italian sportswear as a challenge to the American industry. In 1965, Anna Piaggi covered Massoni in an article for Ariana, a magazine published by Mondadori. She continued to actively promote Massoni through her long career as a fashion journalist, including writing their press releases whilst at Vogue Italia in the 1980s. This helped bring Massoni to the attention of the wider world, as did a joint collection with Emmanuel Kahn in 1965. They held their first catwalk show in 1966, and the following year, presented a show at the Palazzo Pitti in Florence. This show proved controversial due to the unplanned transparency of the model's clothing under the lights, revealing a lack of underwear and leading to comparisons to the Crazy Horse Cabaret. Although the see-through look was presented by Yves Saint Laurent the following year, the Miss Sonnets were not invited back to Florence. However, the scandal gave them immense publicity, and helped lead to the development of Milan as a fashion capital when the press followed the Miss Sonnets back to Milan. The Miss Sonnets went on to feature in many leading fashion publications, including Women's Wear Daily, Vogue, Marie Claire, Elle, and Harper's Bazaar, and were championed by influential editors such as Diana Vreeland and Piaggi. In 1970, Massoni opened their first in-store boutique at Bloomingdale's in New York, and their first directly owned boutique in Milan in 1976. Ottavio was the colorist and pattern designer whose watercolor paintings and gauics formed the basis of Masoni textiles, whilst his wife developed the cuts and shapes of their garments. Ottavio's designs, which combined multicolored zigzag, stripe, check and wave patterns in unexpected color combinations, were highly influential, and were recognized as having artistic merit. In 1975, an exhibition of Ottavio's textiles and related paintings, curated by Renato Cardazzo, was held in Venice, and Ferruccio Landi wrote an article titled Massoni, a work of art, pullover size. In 1974, 
Jennifer Hawking of Harper's Bazaar and Queen selected male and female ensembles by Missoni as the dress of the year for the Fashion Museum, Bath. In 1976 Ottavio was named one of the ten most elegant men in the world, sharing the list with Robert Redford and Charles, Prince of Wales. To mark the 25th anniversary of Missoni's founding, a retrospective was held in 1978 at the Rotonda della Bassana in Milan, and later hosted by the Whitney Museum of American Art in New York, the first time the Whitney had hosted a fashion exhibition. In 1983, Ottavio and Rosita designed their first stage costumes for a production of Lucia di Lammermoor, starring Luciano Pavarotti, at the La Scala Opera House in Milan. In 1991 an exhibition in Uracocho, Tokyo, was held of Ottavio's tapestries, the first time they had been displayed in Japan. In 1997 Ottavio and Rosita passed the Missoni business to their children. Vittorio acted as marketing director, Angela became creative director, and Luca holds a technical role, having created designs for the Eros dance troupe and an installation for the Expo 2005. Since the handover, Missoni has expanded into a lifestyle brand which includes furniture, car interiors, a chain of hotels, and collaborations with companies such as Target. In 2003, when Missoni marked their 50th year of business, Susie Menkes wrote a tribute in the International Herald Tribune stating how the best-beloved Miss Sanus represented one big happy local family of hands-on wizards. On January 4, 2013, Missoni's eldest son, CEO Vittorio Missoni, his wife Morisia, two other passengers and two crew disappeared in an airplane near the Los Roques Islands near Venezuela. Wreckage of the submerged plane was discovered by a U.S. oceanographic vessel in June but no identification was able to be made. On October 22, 2013, the deaths of Vittorio and the other passengers on the plane were confirmed by the Italian News Service and the city of Caracas Chief Prosecutor Ortega, after meeting with the victims' families. The bodies were found inside the aircraft, except for the pilot, with DNA samples used for identification. The authorities are attempting to raise the wreckage to determine the cause of the crash. On May 1, 2013, 12 days after marking his and Rosita's 60th wedding anniversary, Ottavio was taken to hospital, but at his request. He went home to be with his family in Solmarago, where during the night of 8 and 9 of May, the 92-year-old Ottavio died serenely. Thanks for watching.